Welcome back to TIG Time. I'm Mr. TIG. Today's segment is going to be on titanium welding. Now we're going to do about three or four segments on it, but the first one is going to be the introduction to the titanium material. We're going to do TIG tacking only in this segment, but even in order to TIG tack this material, you need to know a little bit about it. Well, first of all, it's lightweight, it's non-corrosive, and the melting temperature is about 3,000 degrees. Now, it's also defined as a reactive alloy. Now, you probably haven't heard that with steel, stainless steel, aluminum, ink and nails, all the other materials, but this material is reactive. What that means is that the material, although it melts at 3,000 degrees, <coughs> it starts becoming reactive at about 700 degrees. So as the temperatures elevate, it starts to absorb oxygen. So one of the things that we have to do is make sure that while we're welding, while we're above that 700 degrees, we're covering it with argon. It likes argon. So today we're going to tack weld and we're going to show you the right way and we're we'll also show you a color chart that's going to be provided by weld.com. Now this particular chart is going to be posted and it's going to tell you all the different colors including silver, straw, brown. You're going to be able to look at it and say yes this is a good weld or no it's a bad. Uh, I want to cover a couple of things. Even if you see a bad weld, you really have to define it and determine it, how bad is it. Titanium is pretty expensive material. Okay, I've got all my safety gear in place, got my gloves on, helmet on, haven't got my glasses on yet, but I want to show you what I have done as far as the setup. I, I've set this up just like purging stainless steel or ink and nail or some of the other exotic materials and I've got argon flowing in here at about 15 CFH. So it's purged on the inside. It's pretty safe that uh, we're going to get great gas coverage on the inside. On the outside, however, I only have this half inch orifice of gas coming out. So my shielding pattern's only half an inch. I can't go beyond that without losing some shielding. Now, we're only going to tack weld with this, and we'll, we'll later on progress into bigger cups, trailing cups, and things like that. But because we're dealing with a reactive alloy, there's not much forgiveness. So rather than have only five seconds post flow on the argon, I've turned the machine up to 15 seconds. So uh, let's go ahead and light a tack off and, and uh, make the tack and see what it looks like, and then we can compare it in color to see if it's acceptable or not. Okay, I'm going to do an arc initiation, and it's pretty thin material, so we're only going to use maybe about 25 amps. Now this material gets nice and shiny, so I've added filler material. Now I'm backing off. Now it's post flowing. I'm letting the argon flow for that full 15 seconds. And when I hear it stop, I'll flip my hood up and take a look at it. Okay. Now I've got a tack weld on here. I'm going to <clears throat> look at the color, and if you notice the color is silver. Now, so you look at this chart and I've got a glossy silver and kind of a light straw. Well, this is actually glossy silver. And so this really is an acceptable tack. Now, if you notice this hazy area right here, that's outside the heat affected zone. So it really doesn't matter at this time. But let's go ahead and, and do another tack just for fun, just to see if we can get different colors out of it. You know, while this is post flowing, you need to know that there are several different types of titanium. And we'll get involved in those a little bit later in the program, probably segment three of titanium. And we'll also post that on the web uh, for you. And that would be weld.com. Okay, let's take a look at this tack. 
and I get the same results. I got a nice silver color, and that would be an acceptable tack. Again, don't use this for anything other than tacking. Okay, I'm actually, for fun, just going to weld up a little part of the seam here. You know, this thickness is only about 25 thousandth wall, so it doesn't take a lot of amps. And uh, I'm going to uh, accidentally, or on purpose, I'm going to pull the shielding off the post flow very quickly, just to show you the mistakes that get made. Okay, so I get to the end of the weld, pull the shielding off, and now you can see the bluing effect as you get out of this weld. So that's what's going to lead into our next segment. We need the specialty purging devices to make sure that that welds uh, and has a silver color to it. And that's it for now. Thank you for watching TIG Time. I'm Mr. TIG.